Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. All right, moving right along, Shannon Morse has joined us. She's the producer of Before You Buy and, uh, of course, uh, producer of Know How and what else do you do? And soon to be hosting a show with Mr. Padre. Mm -hmm. You're going to be in that programming show with yes, Padre. That's yes, great. You're the guinea pig. I'm the guinea pig. Awesome. I'll be the student. Awesome. And oh. now, have you always worn one of these wristbands or pedometers? Not always. Okay. Um, I started with the Fitbit One, I believe it was, the original that one. Was the that was the belt. Just, yeah, you just clip okay. it onto your belt or whatever. I see a flex on your wrist right so, now. That's the thin one. I have one. a flex on. Yeah. I also have the new Fitbit Force. And this just came out. I'm very excited to find out, out yes. more about so it. So I've been wearing this for about two weeks. A lot of people haven't gotten theirs yet. Sorry, Liz. I stole her flex. So first off, <laughs> I wanted to give you kind of a size comparison because the big drawback of the flex was that it didn't have a screen. You would have to bang on it. And it just lights up. To get it to light up. And like tell a you, Jawa. Tell you what percentage of sleep or yeah. what percentage of steps that you've taken. This one, on the other hand, and there's a little button on the side. Does it tell you the time? Oh, oh it, it is. So time? that's you can use that's, it as a watch, kind of, yeah. which is what yeah. I liked about the Nike Fuel Band. Is yeah, it, I love yeah. that it finally shows you yeah. things, so you don't have to log on to your phone, which is syncing to it, and figure everything out from their Fitbit. That's a little app. awkward though to have to reach around like that. Yes, yeah, so I'm just doing. Is this that because you're a, a, you're just wearing it on your right <laughs> wrist? If you wore it on your left wrist, would it be less awkward or no? Well, I'm just doing that because you know the camera. Oh, that would be the normal way you well. do it. Okay, yeah. that's not so bad. So it shows you the time. It also shows you how many steps you've taken for the day, and then this little line at the bottom gives you a percentage that you've done for the day. So you're shooting for how ten thousand. How many miles? That's how neat. many calories you've burned? How many uh, stairs you've taken? How many flights of stairs? That's and something the flex did not do. How many active minutes? So I'm I've been really lazy today. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So they've added altitude. To, yeah, you can do, also you can set the sleep, and the sleep is very easy. You just press, hold down the button for two seconds. I could never remember on my Fitbit Flex what blinking yeah. rapidly did, meant. So and this will actually vibrates, let me know I And it am tells sleeping. you how long Got you've it. been asleep for. Yeah. And then you press it down twice again for two seconds, vibrates again, and then it turns off. That's how off. much? You had seven seconds of sleep. Yeah, so it's a lot easier to use. It's a little bit bulkier. The size is definitely different between the two. That's kind of a drawback for me because I have these teeny tiny wrists that I'm wearing it on. So it, for me, it gets caught on some clothes, but not a big problem for a lot of guys out there. But uh, all in all, I really liked it. I'm still getting the same kind of um, exercise out of it. It's still making me get out there and be active, even though some days I just want to be lazy. Although, unfortunately, it still doesn't track calories very well. Um, it does tell you how many calories you've burned, but it doesn't give you any kind of automatic intake. So if I eat cereal every morning, there's no automatic way in Fitbit to to check it off and say, I'm going to eat cereal every day, so I don't have to plug that in every single day mm. manually. So that's kind of a drawback. So my pros and cons for this, the pros, obviously, the display is a big deal for me. Battery life is excellent as well. It still lasts about seven days. And there's no additional tracker. So for example, with the force, there's no tracker that you have to take out. With the flex, to charge it, you have to pop this little doohickey oh. out and charge that now, with the I, integrated USB. I got to say, uh, that's a pro on the flex because at least you can replace the band. Bands are cheap. You can get a variety of colors. That's and true. when the band disintegrates, which they all do because they're rubber, you're not out of luck on that. I don't know what you're going to do. That's you're true. It is, it, it is rubber. So that is yeah. a problem. Um, also, one of my cons, it is bulky. The clasp is a little bit tougher to tighten, although I, I assume it'll get easier over time. You can replace the clasp, though. And it does still have a USB charge cable. I would like it if So you it have was to plug just, that. That's how you charge that. You plug the whole Yeah, I would like in. it if there yeah. was just like a pop-out USB right. and I could just plug this watch into my right. computer. Right. Instead, you still have to plug this into it, connector, and yeah. you also have this wireless syncing dongle for yeah. the first time that you set it up. And both of these are nineteen ninety five each if you lose one. So I, I lost mine from my Fitbit One, so I can't use that anymore, Right. unfortunately. Right. So I had to upgrade to the Force, which I honestly don't mind. So try, buy, don't I buy? give I, I give it a buy. Yay! It. Yeah, still A buy for the nice. Force. Fitbit's I got to tell you, job. Shannon, and with all due respect, it's still ugly. <laughs> and it's still all ugly, of yes. these guys are kind of <laughs> ugly. You know? They came out with a pink one for uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 
Pink don't make it <laughs> don't make it not pink. ugly. It would match <laughs> just my shirt. Makes it pink. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and that's where I think Apple is going to have a real opportunity. Even the they Galaxy will. Gear is a little. I'm funky sure Apple and ugly. would come out with something that would be gorgeous. Well, that's the challenge. But if they can, mm -hmm. all of this stuff is going to look like last year's uh, technology. That's true. That's true. But for now, a uh, great way to stay active. You said 130 bucks. This one's 130. Yes, 129.95. Force. And I Shannon Morse says the force is a buy. It's a